Hey, so what's going on everyone? So first, before I mention anything, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has been streaming my latest poem, Fastlane. I know it's a little different from some of the other ones I've written before. And I know it's not as direct as I usually do with my more personal stuff. I know a lot of you tend to prefer when I'm personal to be more direct and less wordplay, but when I first started writing this one, the metaphors were just kind of releasing themselves, essentially. But I did want to talk a little bit about the two poems that I've been asking everyone to vote on for the next audio poem I will be putting on streaming services. The first one is Stitches on My Heart, and the other one is Spotlight. So, both of these poems were written at different times. Stitches on My Heart was this close to being put in Omni Initial Phase. That's how early this poem was written. And out of the stuff that was written for initial phase, I had plans to just stick to what I was writing, but I was still working on other stuff at the time, and more poems were being written when I was trying to just focus on a certain set of 25, and then focusing on a different set of 25 for secondary phase. So... The Stitches on My Heart is currently the only new love poem in Omni. And it's a couple of reasons for that. First one being that I am trying to save some of the love poems I've written over the last few years for an eventual Aspects of Love Volume 2. A lot of people really enjoyed the first one. And I've never been able to explain this one, but when people first discover my work and they discover that I also write poetry, the go-to poetry book is always Aspects of Love. And I did re-release the first one as Aspects of Love 1.5 when I switched over from writing as Luke Wood to writing as C.L. Williams. And a lot of the love poems get very well received. And that's one of the reasons I was thinking about making that the first poem I release for Omni Secondary Things. But then I wrote Fastlane, and I just really liked that poem, and it was a poem that I felt like was writing itself as I was putting the words down. So that's why this one kind of got pushed back a little bit. But... Stitches on My Heart is about someone who is in love, but they are broken. And it's someone essentially saying, your love will help me heal. And that this person's love will put stitches on their heart, meaning it'll be put back together. And it was a little difficult to write this one because I didn't write it off of any one personal experience. I wrote it off of different experiences because two of the relationships I've been in in the past, I was not at my best when they when either of these started and it just happened to part of being in this relationship, well relationships I should say, ended up being part of my healing process. So that's what helped with this poem. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to share it, because this one is the, it's really going to be the only love poem where it's got a happier ending. There's a few in here where they kind of end in heartache or heartbreak or the narrative sort of stuff that I've written where it ends with the couple splitting up. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to share this one. However, as I was writing the last few poems for Omni Secondary Phase, Fast Lane, More Than Art, and this one, Spotlight. Spotlight, 
I know I should not be speaking for other writers, but let me just say to those that are watching this that are not writers, we, um, we writers don't exactly have the most confidence in ourselves, and we're the ones that's going to bash our own work before anyone else will. And one of the things that helps me get over that imposter syndrome or I'm not as good as this person or I'm not as good as that person is when I'm writing, I have to turn my ego on. I have to go, yeah, I'm amazing. I'm great. I can do this. I got this. Well, over the last two or three years, I've had some pretty good success stories. Cindy's Choice was the number one. Lucifer's Lost Love became my first bestseller. My short stories, When the Camera Stopped Rolling and the Boogeyman, are in a movie that's currently available on a streaming service. Not to mention, I recently went to a Comic-Con, and one of the things I can tell everyone, I had someone come up, buy two books, read half of the book while still walking around, come back and buy everything else on my table. So yeah, I was kind of feeling myself one day and started writing about this. And one of the other things that inspired it is the fact that one of the books coming out this year is 575, which is going to be a haiku collection of all the haiku that I had released on Twitter. It's like, that was one of the things that I kept thinking about, like, well... I'm about to release a book and people could be going on Twitter reading it for free. So I talk about that. I talk about the fact that I'm in contact with various publishers for future unboxing videos. I've got success stories of my own to share. So I ended up writing something and I went to someone I normally go to and said, Hey, uh, I might need you to talk me off the ledge on something person said, what is it? I said, I just wrote a poem and I am bragging about myself. We writers don't do that. We question whether we're good or not every time we put pen to paper. And before I could even share the poem with this individual, I was told, release the poem. So one of the people that I regularly go to for advice is telling me to release something and hasn't even read a single word of it. Which led me to posting something about that on social media. I don't know who all follows me, but links are in the description below for anyone that is not following me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. So I start going through and I post everything on all the social media places I'm at and Next thing I know, me talking about writing a poem about bragging has gained interest in this poem. So now here I am with a little bit of a dilemma. My plan was to always release Stitches on My Heart after Fastlane when I realized how much I liked the poem Fastlane. And given the numbers that I've seen at least, a lot of you have enjoyed it. For that, I do want to say thank you, and I hope you enjoy Ami Secondary Phase as well as Ami Totality for those that are waiting for the print book. But here's my dilemma. Now, I have another poem that people are wanting to read, and it's not the poem I was wanting to share next. And when I said something about, yeah, Fastlane's getting ready to be the first one I do on streaming services, and then I'm going to do this love poem I wrote called Stitches on My Heart. And someone who follows me on social media said, well, what about that bragging poem? I want to read that. Uh, that wasn't the plan. That was just me doing an update talking about the book. Well, you should release that one. And I had a couple people tell me that. And I also shared it with some other people I know that are writers. And again, the response has been a lot more positive than I was expecting. 
So I was like, all right, what do I need to do? I was like, well, I'm already, like, I'm finished with fast lane. I've already sent it out to be mastered and all that good stuff. I've already sent everything I need to to my distributor. That one's ready to go. So I can't really push back fast lane because I've already got everything going for it. So what do I do? And I thought about it while I was recording the video where I mentioned the breakdown for Fastlane. And at the end of it, I said, all of you get to vote for it. So at the time of this video going up, and by the way, this will be the only video for the week. Just because I want to keep as much focus as I can on Fastlane and the poll for which poem I release next to streaming services. But while everyone is voting, I will be taking a look at that. And then next week, I will be announcing which poem will be going to streaming services. As well as hopefully giving an update on Omni Secondary Phase. These last few poems I was not expecting to be writing, and yet here I am working on them. So the plan is to release... One more audio poem for secondary phase. Do my stuff with fast lane and whatever ends up getting picked between Stitches on My Heart and Spotlight. And then Omni secondary phase will be ready to go. I very much hope that everyone enjoys Omni totality when it comes out. This has not been an easy book to write. This is the first time in a while where... Some of the poems became dated as I was writing them. So, I'm been having to go through this one a little bit more specifically compared to the Paradox Complex or Meta or Approaching Humanity. So hopefully everyone enjoys the 25 poems that I select for Omni Secondary Phase. And while I'm here, I do want to also thank you to everyone for checking out elsewhere. I had expectations for the book. I thought it was going to do a little something because I've started to gain some traction. So I was like, all right, some people are going to want to check out this book. They'll definitely want to see like the earlier stuff I've written. Uh, this will also be a way for people to check out the poems that have appeared in some of my books as well. Like the rewritten version of Guilt is in Approaching Humanity. There's a rewritten version of Painting Us that's in Meta. Flawed Masterpiece appears in the magazine as well as the Paradox Complex. This is the first time a lot of people are getting hatred. This is the first time a lot of people are getting from my window. This is the first time a lot of people are getting looking back. And all of you have given me my seventh bestseller. So for that, I want to say thank you, and to those that have asked, yes, I will fulfill my end of the bargain as well. A lot of people, one of the things I've publicly said, at least not on social media or on here, is the success of Elsewhere would determine what other compilation books I would be doing in the future. So congratulations to those that wanted an early works book. It is happening. Won't be this year, it'll probably be next year, just because I've got quite a bit of stuff coming out this year. But next week, I will unveil which poem will be next between Spotlight and Stitches on My Heart. Until then, I will have the links down below where you can check out Fastlane. But that is going to do it for this one. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see? leave a thumbs up comment down below which poem do you want to see next or here next i should say do you want spotlight or do you want stitches on my heart and be sure to check out my community tab where i have the poll ongoing but that is going to do it for this one thank you all for watching and i will catch you on the next one <laughs>
Thank you.